Pacific <laughs> Common. All right, we're back at episode. How many we have? Four minutes. No, I don't mind. I'm just, I'll just think about my answers. Yeah. We'll be quick. Quick, fast, boom. There it is. Okay. <laughs> hey, everyone. We're back again with David Atkinson from Hollow and Hollow Chain yep. with Yuri Cataldo. And this is a separate episode we're covering yep. because a lot of people have been asking about what is the difference between Hollow and Hollow Chain. And, and interestingly, when you do searches on YouTube, you come up with Hollow Chain brackets hot. But the HOT token is actually part of a hollow, am I correct? Correct. Right. So because of the fact that people generally in the industry misunderstood that, I wanted to give you an opportunity to set the record straight and make people understand the difference between what is hollow and the hollow port versus what is hollow chain, not the coin. Okay. So I have to start that if the, this miscommunication or misconception still exists after a couple of years, then we're clearly not doing a great job at explaining the difference. And I think part of that is because of the abstractions. Right. Like, we're, we're talking about abstract technical infrastructure. When we're going to be able to make this distinction most easily is when we have the application. Right, right. right. So let's talk about what is hollow first. Sure. And then talk about hollow chain. Yep. Because I think if we just said we distinguish the difference between what a hollow company or foundation is and a port yep. versus a hollow chain software, then right. it'll help people understand what's going on because that'll help with adoption as well. Fantastic. So let's start with what is hollow. Okay. Well, who is hollow? Who? Well, is that who or what? Wow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hollow is a distributed hosting business. Okay. okay. So we know hosting mainly as application with data stored in data centers that people around the world access. Yep. Holo makes it possible for the data center to be anywhere. Our homes, our work, fully distributed hosting. So you're talking about server-side distributed services. Like when an Amazon Web Services does work and run various compute power computing solutions on their hosted environments, I could do the same thing in a hollow environment. Exactly, so at right. the moment, okay. They need to operate within a trusted network, yes. which is themselves and their data providers. Right? Holo creates that trusted network through your participation in the network, so it extends the trust right. to individual organizational level, right? Okay. So it moves beyond the organization boundary. And where might that be useful? Well, when applications need to be served completely on the edge, IoT, even yeah. run on the edge, served on the edge of the user. So, and a hollow distributed hosting says, well, distributed applications build on Holochain. <laughs> build on Holochain. But we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that. Distributed applications, people need to be able to run them without knowing yeah. that they're running a distributed application. They just need to be able to run an application. Absolutely. Right? And so hollow provides the mechanism for distributed application to be run through Holo software and served anywhere in the world to a web user that doesn't even know what they're doing. Right? Okay. And in order to be able to make that network work, what does a user need to get on that network or to be able to host that network? Yeah, perfect. So that's where we have the Holo port. Again, a right. physical representation of hosting now. People will be able to host with virtual machines. Yeah. It's much easier to say. My box. And now the Holo port, in. if we go back yep. to the beginnings of Holo, this was the Holo ports that we saw up on Kickstarter? Indiegogo. Indiegogo, right. Absolutely. Right. So this was the Indiegogo invest in Holo ports that you'll have that future technology. Host the new internet. Host the new internet, right. Yep. Got it. Okay. That's right. So, the Holo port ship, you'll be able to connect the port to your network connection, okay. and that will operate as a host. Now, then right. you will be running a hosting application, and we select various properties of how and what you want to host. Right. You'll also be able to operate the Holo Fuel application, which lays now the whoever has built applications that you're hosting to be able to pay you for hosting. Right. Oh, that's so, cool. Yep, absolutely. So rather than paying Amazon, Amazon Web Services, you could be basically hosting an environment or people are part of an environment through a hollow port, which has hollow chain software in there, which is enabling it to work. Is that right? Exactly. And then I could make money by providing part of that network being paid in hollow fuel, yes, exactly. which is the future moving from the hot coin to the hollow fuel coin. Exactly. Right. So the, the hot coin is a free purchase of fuel on the hollow hosting network. Right. Exactly. So you get this infrastructure in the box. Now the software is hollow software, but you need hollow chain 
to build that software. And there's multiple layers of software, like kind of like firmware versus software, right? Ex exactly. Right, so you've got the different layers of software that's in your Hollow ports. Some of it is Hollow specific software, and some of it is using Hollow Chain software to enable a specific kind of application. Like a, what you used to call the apps, right? A hollow app? So, so the thing that people get their head around is hollow is a app. Okay, there you go. There okay. you go. It's so, one of many apps, as right. well as our friends here in the aviation world. Exactly. You know, I was an aeroband, they're providing another app. Exactly. As at the moment, some people who are playing around with our chat application, playing around with our app store, okay. and many more apps. But hollow is a app. And the reason that we wanted to release hollow is to deal with this abstraction issue. Right. If you can one, show what's possible on Holochain yeah. in a completely different paradigm to what we see around here, then people are going to take Holochain a lot more seriously, a lot faster, because we've already got demonstrated technology sure. and solutions that couldn't be built anywhere else. Right. That's one. And it's just, it's, it's kind of, everyone who's building that underlying infrastructure wants to build apps that For people sure. use, so it allows us also to Part of part is, if you're going to build an application framework for distributed computing, yeah. then you need to build hosting to bridge distributed computing from everyone in the world who doesn't care about it to those who do. Right. So build Holo so that distributed computing can scale before people know what it is. Great. And then could you then explain Holo Chain? So Holo Chain is an application framework okay. that makes build, makes Holo possible. Right? So it is. A, and I think the thing to get people's heads around is that it's not a network itself, it's a framework that allows you to build a network. Holo, the users of Holo will be a network. There's no Holochain network. The way there's no Holochain mainnet. Well, Holochain is just open source software, right? Yeah. It's open framework, it's not even a platform. Open, it's an open, okay. it's open it's framework, an right. Open framework. Right, and so you're, of course, the Holo, the company, are using the Holochain framework to build the hollow uh, infrastructure to be able to put the hollow ports out and make them workable. Exactly. So it's like a Linux in a way. Exactly. And then when you're powering a currency of that framework, then when you get into conversations with guys like Aeroband and they say, well, tell me about security. Tell me about, you know, then, then what you can point to is, well, we're powering a hosting currency in this environment. This is how security works. This is what happens to what people try to hack. All these kind of things. And it goes from us explaining to us being able to. Right, grow. right. So, in fact, everybody that builds a hollow app of some form or another um, could have their own fuel coin of, of sorts because Hollow Chain itself is just the software that's there to empower or enable the way that Linux was there to enable open source development. Exactly. And you can build all these different apps that are sitting on top, and every app could run on its own coin yep. if they wanted to. Exactly. So where you get like what becomes really interesting, like walking the floors today. So there's a lot of there are a lot of places that will talk about data sovereignty, data ownership, identity, privacy, and does it whatever layer some stage bang centralized. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you just <laughs> and you ask one question or two questions or three questions, and they are the EU from GDPR. People are looking for the distributed solution to this problem. Yes, they have social questions and they have technical questions. They're looking to the solution to this problem. Right. So right. being able to demonstrate that you could distribute hosting, people will also start to get used to the other things that you can start to distribute. And once we move into a world where we own our data, we start to transition truly into a digital economy. Got it. Okay, so I guess last question for me, and this is the old Win Moon, Win Lambo, Win Hollow Ports. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Well, you've been following the progress. You've been following as much as I can. As much yeah. as you can. Yeah. There's a massive amount of GitHub activity. There's lots of speculation in the community. We've said we're working fast and faster and faster to get there. And I think Art Art had tweeted that there'll be announcements coming soon. That's so your founder. That's 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 one of our founders. So. We, we're getting there. Right, right. We're getting there. We're getting close. We're getting close. Good. We're getting close. There's, we, we all want it out there. Well, we've had people on our channel coming in, you know, posting in the comments like, when all aboard. Yep. Yeah. And I don't know how to respond to that <laughs> because I, I'm just here interviewing you. Right. So if you want to know when all aboard, David's here to tell us it's on the way. We don't have to worry. It's coming. 
I think yeah. I think that the, the evolution is that the reason we stopped announcing dates was because when you're building innovative tech that's never been built before, there are too many unknown unknowns. Oh, and right. we Absolutely. shot ourselves Tons in the foot yeah. by just by having dates. It was just it created a lot of problems for many people. So, but you're still here. Still here. Still, here, still okay. going now. What we're able to do is we're much better at tracking release schedules. So we know Agreed. what is going to get completed by when. And that's getting us closer to be able to announce awesome. dates. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's great. Great to see you guys again. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see you face to face. I know. Yeah. It's yeah. Great amazing. To see. I have to sit up yeah. because you're much taller than I am. It's great to see you guys through the crypto winter as well, yeah. surviving. We have survived. Surviving, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we have survived the crypto winter and we're waiting for crypto spring and summer to come again. Yeah, right. Right as winter starts. Yeah. <laughs> great. Well, David, thank you very much for joining us for a double episode today uh, here in Malta at the Blockchain Summit. Yep. And of course, we'll be spending more time with you and the guys from Aeroblock. Thanks everybody for watching and checking in here on the Coin Chat. We'll be back for more in Malta.